Hi, so this is a what's inside video. I've been given this Moffat extractor fan. It looks brand new or at least virtually brand new. It's so clean, but from the color and the style, I can say it's probably about 20 years old. Um, but I just really want to see how much copper you can get out of an extractor fan and what's inside. So I can just, it's really easy to get in, just basically lift up the cover and you can see what's inside. So yeah, it's pretty basic looking. Um, just put this over here. Clean, really clean filter. Um, pop that down there. Um, so not much to this really. Inside you can kind of see this is the filter yeah not much that looks brand new as well that uh, hasn't really been used so this is the bit I'm interested in I can see the motor in here um, it um, looks pretty easy to get into there's just a few screws so I'm going to undo all the screws see um, what I can reveal inside so I'm basically just going to do them there's not actually many screws in here these four here and hopefully this will just pop out so as some of you know, um, I am doing a copper challenge. I'm going to see how much copper in a year um, can be gathered from things that would have just been thrown away, um, thrown away by friends, family and ourselves. And uh, with a view to down the line, I'll smelt it and make some copper ingots. Um, but I'm just curious because I've been watching different things um, and the amount of e-waste that goes into um, landfill or just, you know, thrown away, crushed, even incinerated uh, for energy is shocking. Okay, so I'll do this one and then I think I'll be in. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm being given things for friends and family and taking apart everything that we... Uh, no longer need or replacing or is broken um, and it'd be really interesting to see in that time just how much copper I can you know collect so we'll see right. okay so there we are okay so I mean so we've got all the wires here uh, yeah and here's the motor that's the bit I'm really interested in. Obviously, there's there's copper in these wires as well. But um, there's going to be a nice chunk of copper. In fact, I can see it. I can just see it in there through the through the uh, little fan there. It's really smooth. It's definitely never been used. So it looks like if I just pop off these little seals here, I should be able to just get in there we go ah so my toolbox is a bit lacking at the moment I'm not actually sure that I've got any of those little tiny sort of spannery things no okay um Uh, right, no. Okay, let's see if I can get in from the other side. So we've got all the wires here. So, it does look lovely in there. I can't wait to get into that. I might be able to just undo this bit with my kind of wrenchy. Right, firstly, let's just cut those wires. 
Okay, there we have it. Let's copy and tie all of those, obviously, which is, you know, something. Okay. All right. Let's just undo this just to see what else this reveals. I think it might pull back through a little bit more. Oh, look, sorry. My bodily bush in the way there. Hang on just a sec. Um, might just basically reveal a few more bits of wire to pull through. I think, is it going to the bowl, maybe? Yeah. So this is the bulb housing. It's just slightly off camera. For you apologies. Um, just, there we go. Okay, so there's a little bit more wire there. That's good. Let's give, just snip this. Make it as long as possible. That's the idea. Obviously, you can see the copper inside there. Sometimes it's surprising just how much. Um, what copper you can get out of small wires sometimes it's pathetic and other times it's you think wow how has that gathered up so much anyway let's just um, collect up all these little screws put those over there right so okay just have a look. Okay, so this is the switches. Just to adjust the fan. That's fine. That's nice and easy. Um, okay, so a little tiny bit of wire here. Uh, let's just give that a little bit more. Yep, yep, quite a nice long bit of wire here. Um, nice bit of copper in there. Okay, so now what I've really got to try to do is get into this um, uh, motor unit here. So I think I would, what I actually need to do is get my get it, try try this one in here. Okay. Um, let's see. That seems like there's some movement there. Okay. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah. Wow. That was easy. Okay. So that's the. Undo that little bolt there. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Oh, all that beautiful copper. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And look, there's actually quite a lot in here. So I'm really impressed. You can kind of see here, there's two pretty big coils in there. And look, you've got this aluminium uh, piece around here. They, it is, it's in case. So basically, even if I took these two um screws off here um i'm still not I'll, I'll try and take them off anyway just to show you but i'm still not going to be able to get in to this um to get to the copper because it's absolutely in case so the best way to do these is to collect them up and um so i'm waiting on a new workbench with a lovely vice that's going to make my life much easier um, and then once I've got the vice, I'm going to get some sort of angle grinding, you know, cutting tool, um, and just cut into them. And then basically, um, do it, do it all in once and then you can just remove the aluminium you, you can sell it's um i believe it's called extruded aluminium um i might as well collect that up i'm not going to do it as part of this curiosity challenge um but 
I am going to, you know, I'm going to have it anyway, so I might as well weigh it up, see what I get in value of that at the end as well, because I've, I've done a few things so far that is not that I haven't done videos on. Um, let's use the long screws. Um, and they have all, okay, just get this a little bit off. Okay, so that's that, and then, oh, actually, that's, that's, Quite heavy, yeah. That's another little interesting bit. I just find it so fascinating working out what's inside this stuff. Okay, anyway, so here we are. We've got a bit of a better view. A little few more little bits of cable. But look at all this beautiful copper. I know my friends think I'm absolutely nuts. There's a nice solid bit in here as well, which is fab. So you can see, um, you know, it's really heavy. There's going to be a nice bulk copper in there. That would be quite a few cables for me to strip. Um, nice weighty bit of aluminium too. So yeah, so this is basically two massive coils inside this motor here. You cut... Um, cut down the side to get in yeah just down and then you can cut out this copper I reckon I've seen it done I've never done it I need to collect them all up for quite some time cut down sort of one of the ridges one of the edges um, can't really read what it says no my side's not quite good enough it might even be clearer on the camera than me it's 0708 but i don't think that's the yeah i'm not sure actually i don't know what that is um look the fans blowing around in the wind so i'm really impressed with how weighty that is um you, you can obviously it's, you've got the metal that it came with got this nice copper in here um can't wait to get inside just to see you can see it's absolutely solid in there. There's no chance of pulling it out, unfortunately, because it's totally cased by this aluminium. But yeah, what a nice weighty object. Just reach over. There, see, here's the cable. So this is all the copper we've got out of it. Of an extractor fan. A few bits of cable. Probably got some nice copper inside. And... Um, this beautiful bit of copper as part of the motor but i mean that really is it there's nothing no sort of bells and whistles here it's <laughs> pretty bog standard basic you know easy to get into would be easy to maintain but if you're if you're just curious to see how much copper well there we have it that's how much copper you can get out of an extractor fan okay thanks for watching <laughs>